Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. You guys want to gather and see a demo? A little cooking demo on how to make some fresh popsicles? Anyone? Yes. You guys having fun today? How many of you guys like popsicles out there? Woo! How many of you have made popsicles all by yourself, fresh from fruit? Yeah? Well, I have to give you a heads up because most people go to the supermarket and buy popsicles full of high fructose syrup and full of things that aren't really great for the body and, and doesn't, don't have really great energy. So one of the things I love doing when summer comes around and it's really, really, really hot is I really enjoy taking these fresh fruits, fresh herbs from the garden and making homemade popsicles. One, they're re really gonna be nutritious for you, they're gonna give you energy and they're really gonna refresh you and kinda cool you down. So for today's demo, we're gonna be making three different popsicles. First popsicle is gonna be a pineapple basil pop. The second one's gonna be a strawberry mint pop. And then the third one is gonna be my favorite, a lemon cilantro popsicle. I'm gonna need some volunteers. I have one sous chef already up here. Miles, can I give a round of applause for Miles? <laughs> Woo! Miles, do you have any experience in the kitchen? Yes. Yes? What kind of popsicles do you like making at home? Mm. Coconut? He said coconut popsicles, I think. Just kidding. All right, so two more volunteers. All right, this young lady, what's your name? Pardon? Corin? Lauren, Lauren, please come around this way. A round of applause for Lauren. And one more in the back over there with the green shirt. Yes, you're looking behind you, but it's you. Yes. All right. So we have Miles. We have Lauren coming right up. Lauren, how are you doing? You like cooking? Where are you from? Fairfax, Virginia. So you came all the way from Fairfax, Virginia. Cool. And who's our third sous chef? What's your name? Andrew. Andrew, can we get a, a round of applause for Andrew? You guys see him? Yeah. All right. So let's divvy up the popsicle. Miles, I'm going to give you the lemon lime popsicle because we need your muscles. Can you flex, show the crowd these huge muscles you got here? You're still working on it. Okay. We're going to need you to roll these these lemons. Now one of the things I love doing with my lemons is most people just buy lemons at the store, cut them, start squeezing them. To get the most out of a lemon, it's really nice if you just kind of roll it on the cutting board, get the, get the oils all going, release the juices. You're going to get a lot more juice out of your lemon by doing this technique. You ready? All right, Miles, let me cut, let me cut these open and you're going to squeeze. Squeeze your lemons in here. So all I have in here is a little bit of uh, water, and we're gonna add some lemon juice now. You guys wanna get some in the squeezing, squeezing action in here? There we go, let's squeeze some lemons in there. It's kinda like we're making lemonade, but we're not, right? Yeah, so what do you guys like cooking at home? Lauren, what do you like cooking? Bakery goods? Yeah, cookies and brownies. Cookies and brownies. And you like making popsicles? And young man, look at the look at you. You're getting some really good juice out of there. All right, so are you? Can you guys see it up here? No? Can you see me now? Yeah. Is this better right now? Almost a little bit more. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right. So we got to sweeten the popsicle up with something. But instead of just using sugar and high fructose. I really like using organic blue agave. You guys used this before? No? It, it kind of imparts the same flavor, but without all that, that bad stuff in there. So we're going to add a little bit of agave syrup in here. Just a little bit right there. Make sure when you're squeezing your lemons, you have a little strainer, a little agave. And then just to kick this up a little notch, I really love using fresh herbs. I have lots of fresh herbs in front of my house. These came right from the garden. We're gonna chop them up and it's gonna be a lemon cilantro popsicle. And if you like chilies, it's always a nice idea to maybe chop up a couple chilies and put them in here. So, I'm just gonna chop those up, just like that. You wanna throw those in there? Throw the herbs in there. Can we get a round of applause for the herbs? Yeah! 
Come on, you guys need to get a little more excited out there. Woo! You gotta feel the feel the energy. Easter egg roll at the White House. Does it get any better than this? Really? Not really. Okay, so our first one is done. Let's put it aside. Uh, our second one is going to be a pineapple. You guys like pineapples? Yeah. yeah. But this one, what I do is I use the juice of a of a pineapple. A little forward. You guys see it? There's just juice and some pineapple chunks in here. We're gonna put a little bit more. This one's really, really refreshing. I love using pineapple, there is really ripe. So we're gonna cut the head off just like this. Now the best way to cut a pineapple, if you guys do this at home, all right, take the top off, give yourself a service that it won't move. You guys see this, yeah? There you go. Cut the bottom off, all right? And none of this goes to waste. Can you, can you pick up my compost bin over here? Look at all this beautiful compost we have from the day that we're gonna use to put in the garden a little later. That's gonna be really great. So what I like doing is getting a nice service, strong like this, and I like just take my knife and going right down the side, just like that. It's called turning a pineapple in the kitchen. I get to do it really fast, just like this. I don't like usually using anything for waste, so I save these, I put them in the freezer, and when I'm making like short ribs or I'm braising something, Pineapple is really, really great to denature the fiber so it breaks down the meat a little bit in your braises. So that's a little trick. Nothing goes to waste in my kitchen. So we're gonna take that down. You, you want a little slice of pineapple? You guys hungry? You wanna taste, see how sweet this is? There you go, taste, taste that pineapple. You can see it's really, really ripe, no? Yummy. All right, so I'm just gonna chop, rough chop it because what I'm gonna do for this one is put it in the blender. So here we go, we're gonna put that just like this. Add some fresh parsley to this one. Pineapple and parsley go really, really well together. I'm just gonna put it in the blender, just like that. Now at any time, if any of you guys have any question about the popsicle demo or anything, feel free to raise your hand, please. All right, yes, yes young man. Do you get to eat the popsicles? That's maybe the question I was fearing the most today. As you can see, there's a lot of people out here and, I, and I'd have to be some really fast popsicle maker to feed everybody. So unfortunately, the three volunteers here are gonna get to eat them and maybe they'll share their popsicle a little later. What about you? Yes, sir? You guys wanna blend this? Press this button right here. Look at that. It's gonna get nice and thick. That parsley's really gonna get in there. There you go. So we got our pineapple popsicle. We got our lemon cilantro popsicle. All right, and we got, we're on to our last one. One of my other favorites. All right, let's get rid of the, some of this pineapple and the compost. You guys having fun here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, cool. So we got the lemon lime, the pineapple, and now we're on to strawberry yogurt. Who likes strawberries out there? Yeah, I love strawberries. Most of you just kind of pick them, right, at the strawberry farm and eat them. Why not do something a little funky with them, have a little fun, get a little creative? Yes, young man? Your sister's up here? Is that, is that your brother? What's your brother's name? Mason, Mason seems to be very excited that his sister, let's give a round of applause to Mason for shouting out his sister. Are you so proud of her up here? Are you getting a little embarrassed? <laughs> All right, so what I like to use is a little bit of frozen strawberries for the popsicles and some of the fresh juices in here. So we got some fresh strawberry juice, the frozen strawberries, and now we're just gonna pick these. Guys, can you help me just pick these little tops off just like that? And then just tear them up with your hands, just put them in there and have some fun. All right? We're gonna also, add, while they're doing that, we're gonna add a little bit of agave in here. And then this is a little different, just to make this a little bit healthier, we're gonna add a little bit of yogurt in this one. There we go. Now again, I cannot stress enough how much fun this is to do during the summer, on a hot summer day, get the kids around, get a bunch of fresh fruit. I mean, we're using lemons, strawberries, and pineapple, but go for it, you can use mangoes, oranges, anything you possibly want, papayas. It's really endless. All right, you guys have mixed that up a lot. Let me, let me blend it up a little bit. I'm gonna throw it in the blender. Just like this. Lauren, can you get the, uh, the bowl with ice for me in the back right there? 
All right, make sure to get all those juices in there. I always like a little bit of, a little bit of mint with my, uh, with my strawberries, so we're gonna tear some mint. Where's my blenders at? You guys ready? Go ahead. Yeah, look at that goodness. So it's a smoothie now, but once we freeze it, it's gonna become a, a, a fruit popsicle. I think you're good. So again, you guys saw it here. It's really easy, a couple steps. Lots of fun, you get the kids involved. And more importantly, they're really, really fresh and healthy popsicles for you. So I took the liberty of making some fresh popsicles a little earlier on my own. Just to show you, this is my sailboats, lemon, lemon lime parsley. So this is for you. And then we have, oh, the strawberry yogurt one right over here for you, young man. And let's see what's the last one we got. Oh, that's the pineapple one. This is the lemon lime. Here we go. You guys happy? Nice, fresh, delicious. Do you, anything you want to say to your, to your fans out here, Lauren? Hi. Hi, Mom is usually the way we go, right? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. So guys, please, a big, huge round of applause for the volunteers up here. Thank you again. I, I'd like to thank the first family to have me out here again. It's always fun to get a little interactive with the kids. And again, uh, you know, make sure you take, take a little stroll by the garden, see all the fresh herbs up there. And oh yes, before you go, I got my, my, my sister over here bossing me around like usual. I got free recipes for the popsicles. So if you guys want to grab those on your way out, please do. Again, have a wonderful Monday. It's beautiful out here and enjoy everything.